All right, 49er, I said I'd show you one from start to finish. This is what I do. Dump a little bit of baking soda in there. Doesn't take much. And then run a little warm water. I know this is going to be kind of boring, but still don't know what happened to the other video. I don't know if it overrode it or whatever when I downloaded it from the GoPro. Swish it around a little bit. Stir it up. Da -da 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 -da. Then, this is what I have, just a little phone charger, split the ends, the one end without the knot, I put the knot on the other end, clip it on, grab the coin, and check this crap out, I actually got two more silvers today, and I actually got another barber half, holy crap, gotta love this hobby, it just takes patience, and a lot of luck, and... Man, it's obviously out there if I can find it. I never dreamed of finding stuff like this. So just put in the time. <clears throat> then, take the dime. Drop it in. Plug it in. I know this ain't going to be great and you're probably going to get dizzy watching this, but I'm really tired and I'm going to try and get it done. It really doesn't matter if the whole clip goes in either. You just don't want want the spoon to touch the thing you're trying to clean. Like I said, I've never really tried pennies. I have. I did the wheat pennies, but I dumped some lemon juice in them. And I think it turned them yellow. But like I say, you see that's bubbling. See, I got the same trouble. That clip's bubbling and the spoon's bubbling. I don't know how well you can see it. But the one that's bubbling more is the one that I tied the knot in to know that's the one I put the silver coin or ring on to clean up. Now you're going to get bored. Da -da 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 -da. I say, I don't only do it for a couple of minutes of that. I usually end up sorting my clad when I do this, just a routine. Like I say, these aren't that bad as opposed to the ones that I get out of the water. I'm going to walk over this way and grab a drink. <laughs> Cheers. Life's man, but oh well. All right, hasn't been in there very long. Take it out. It may, might have been a minute or so. Um, clip it. Take the baking soda. What I do is just rub it. I know people say, don't rub your coins. I'm not worried about it because a lot of them aren't key dates, even the semi-key dates. They're still clean because... They're not going anywhere. In a hundred years, who's going to care, right? And a little more rubbing. And when you want to make sure you use the baking soda and rub it under the water because that's what stops the electrolysis too. And there's the dime. Nice and shiny. Like I say, no salt, no lemon juice, no nothing. Now, I'll do my second barber half ever. I can't believe I found this thing today. That is so sweet. Drop it in, stir this up a little bit more. I say it doesn't take very long. The baking soda is really... Really, really gentle on the stuff. It won't eat it up like salt does and the lemon juice because it's not as acidic. And I'll just let her cook. Are you bored yet? Yeah. 
I'm not that great of a detectorist. It's just I'm out there spending my time and I have the time to do it. So don't get frustrated out there. It's out there. You just got to know your machine and I'm learning that e-track now. And uh, I love it. I mean, I was starting to get used to that um, XLT, that white XLT that I had. Which I had for like 12 years, something like that, 10, 12 years. And only started using it a few, three years ago maybe. So you just got to get used to the machine. Trust the machine. And believe what it's telling you. And it's location and a lot of luck. Alright, let's see what that does. This wasn't in there very long. You see the water's already turned colors. Take it out. Over to the baking soda. I'm trying to hurry. Rub it. Which, like I say, people hate it when you do this, but <clears throat> it's in my collection. I ain't worried about it. Just baking soda. I say, don't forget to. Don't forget this process because this is what cleans it off the rest of the way and stops the electrolysis process. But there you go. There's a nice shiny 1901 Barber Half. So good luck out there. And sorry if this bores you too much. I tried to keep it short, but I decided to both to both of them. Ha, imagine that. Probably the beer. <laughs> but happy hunting.